Hey kids, today I want to take a little time and go over lunges. Now lunges are just a natural gait pattern that we all do, whether we're going up a hill, uh, incline on a treadmill, or simply just walking up stairs. But they're also going to be the fundamental exercise that we use as a basis for a lot of our programming and our exercises going forward. Eventually, I'll show you how to do a weighted lunge, show you how to apply a row, and apply pushing motions to a lunge as well. So, we got a beautiful day outside. Let's go out there and let's get this started. Today, we're gonna to tackle an exercise that most people find daunting, lunges. But I promise you, the better and the stronger you get at utilizing this position, the better your life is gonna be from a quality standpoint, regardless of your age. As with any exercise, there are a million different ways to perform this, and there are a million different opinions on how this exercise should be done. But I'm gonna show you the way we do it at the MOVE Project that we feel has the best transference into your everyday life that will provide you with quality up into your 80s or 90s. And it's the safest way that we have found to do it with the biggest benefit and the least amount of risk to entering joints. The purpose or the main purpose of our lunge is we teach you how to hinge at your hip. Now that hinge can become important in anything you do, whether it's your golf stance, hiking, or simply leaning over to pick something up off the ground. To get started, I'm gonna implement the KISS system. Keep it simple, stupid. So for your first motion, what I want you to do is take your squat position that we learned in a previous video. You're gonna get set up. Now, you don't wanna be way down deep, but we're gonna start about right here, okay? T-Rex arm position. All I want you to do is you're gonna take a leg and you're gonna take it back, just like that. So essentially, Nothing moved except the leg came back. Now, a few things from this angle to keep in mind. I want a straight line from my ankle to my ear. So this should be your angle. Now, what I see a lot of people do is they get into something like this, where they jam their lower back, or they hinge too far forward and they start to look something like this. What we want to do is we're utilizing the hip. Everything stays nice and straight. Now, you don't have to be this far back. If you start to feel your back, shorten your lunge up just a little bit. It would look something like this. So from this angle, I want you to keep a few things in mind. One, we want your weight on the posterior or back portion of your foot. Do not let your knee go way forward to where you feel like your heel's coming off the ground. You wanna keep your foot down, heels down. You should feel like you can kind of pick the front of your foot up a little bit, that way, you keep a good angle here. I generally try to keep about a 90 or a little bit less, just like that. Weight's in my heel. One thing I want you to also do from here, if you feel like you can't get it into your heel, two things, check your footwear. Try to get a zero drop shoe if possible, and if you don't have one available, go barefoot. If you have a shoe that has a heel lift on it, it's automatically gonna pitch you forward. Number two, is when you're in this position, if you're feeling your back a little bit, what I would do is try to draw your belly button in just a little bit. That will help kind of take the hip up and back a little and will help give some stability to your spine. From a forward position, I want your feet straight ahead. You're gonna be about hip width apart. When you come back, make sure you don't cross your bid line or go way out too much. I just want you to come straight back and maintain that hip width posture. Again, I use T-Rex arms, feeling everything in the glute. So a few things. One, your knee should be lined up right with the middle of your foot. Shouldn't see a knee that's diving in, shouldn't see a knee that's diving out. Again, right down the middle of the foot. Same thing with your hips. You wanna to try to maintain a level hip. You don't wanna allow one side to drop, again, it's gonna force that opposite hip laterally. So if you hold that position here, start to feel it here. Same thing with your midline. If I come straight down the middle of my body, I should have equal halves on both sides. Again, shouldn't have a hip that's way over or a hip that's way over here. Now from that position, I want you to hold your glute. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna exhale and you're gonna drive from the forward leg. I'll show you from the side. You're gonna take the leg back. You're 
going to maintain posture. You're going to load your glute again, making sure that you've got the heel loaded. You're going to exhale, drive up. Again, a few things that I see. A lot of people will drive through the back foot and they'll push themselves forward. Okay, you don't want to do that. You want to try to keep as much load off the back foot as possible, maintaining your load here, driving from this leg. Now, if you feel your knee, what's probably happening is that when you go to drive, your initial movement is probably that. You're probably taking the hip forward and coming up that way through the front of the foot. Keep your weight in your heel, exhale, drive up. It's that simple. Just like your squats, you can also brace your lunges. So, you can use a chair if you have one available. I always use the opposite leg, opposite arm. So I bring the left leg back, hinge, kind of brace myself a little bit. I don't lean on the brace really hard. You're just there to provide yourself with a little stability and then you exhale and drive. And for you radicals that love the game of golf, you've got a couple of these laying around. You can also just use a golf club, slight brace, come on up down, come right back up. In conclusion, lunges, love them or hate them, they're a great exercise. They'll improve the quality of your life, whether you're 20 or you're 80, whether you're wanting to summit Everest or just be able to get out of bed in the morning. So when you're taking your little break from your Tiger King fiasco, try them out. And in our next video, we'll show you a few more options that you can do utilizing the lunge. Take that, Carol Baskin. Hey kids, today I want to take a little time to go over some exercises, you know, <laughs> lunges. 